from Melbourne, Australia, Andrew the Monster Maloney! From San Antonio, Texas, Joshua El Profesor Franco! I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. God bless you both. Two World Championship fights on deck. Maloney and Franco up. Maloney with the white gloves. Franco with the black gloves. Maloney coming out with that good jab movement. Eardrums in the first fight. That affected him from round two on. Told us that affected him. He said, I know these are sounding like excuses, but they are facts. They are things that happen. And, and it just made me more confident now that I have the belt. Same what I did in the first fight. Really good job at timing Maloney as he comes in. He's landed three or four. The U.S. Robert Garcia Jr. with him, who used to train Vic Darcini, Chris John, Danny Green, among others. Looking for revenge here inside the bubble. Just be the busier man. Because I don't think he can match punch for punch or power with, with, uh, with Franco. Franco was the underdog coming into the first fight. Got an eye with the head. Like he head, head swelling there. Over his no. right eye, there you heard referee Russell Watch Morris say it's from an accidental headbutt. That's smelling fast. On the Franco eye. early to staff Cutman. The whole series of this bubble series, it'd be the designated Cutman for all of the fighters. Now, one thing I like about Andrew Maloney is he, he does everything pretty textbook. He, he throws the one, two, three. He puts the hook behind the right hand. Afraid it eardrums on the broken nose. And here's Joshua Franco possibly fighting with one eye the rest of the fight if they let it continue. Swollen pretty shut there. It was an accidental headbutt. The rules are the unified rules of boxing. And uh, uh, they will go to the scorecards after four rounds are completed in the case of an accidental foul. But it would be a no decision if the foul caused a stoppage before four rounds. Chris, you've had to deal with some of that in your career. Um, just talk about what the adversity is like. I mean, pretty much being able to only fight with with one eye. I'm going to be able to see because it's that right eye in the back. Compared to just 38 for Joshua Franco, they landed about the same amount, but that work rate very high for Maloney to start. Yeah, and that's kind of to be expected for the most part. Maloney is the boxer of the two. Uh, stop short, and we go to the scorecards. And it's almost kind of like a target. It becomes a target, right? You go right for, for that eye, that oh, yeah. lead, that lead left hand to the right eye of Joshua Franco. Just boxing is really sticking to the game plan. He's not doing anything different. Head, watch your head. Ooh, there's that right hand I was talking about. He kind of contradicted himself a little bit. He's like, I want to hit and not get hit, but I also moved too much yes. in the first fight. So he's at least working the jab off of it, being effective and throwing punches while he's and moving. Three. He's setting a pace he can't stick to. He typically lets his hands go a lot more, and you see that high guard, you hit him sticking to his defense more, protecting that eye. Even without that eye, I think if you're having trouble with the, with the skill set that Maloney's bringing right now, and, can't see. And I think that they're going to call the fight here. No, and I think Maloney thinks that he's Doctor the champion. Agreed that he cannot continue due to the accidental But that's not the case. We're starting the third round, four rounds have not been complete. That is a no decision, that is correct. Correct. That is correct. In fact, it is going to be a no decision. 